Well, the fallout continues between Israel and the United Nations after Israel's decision to ban UNRWA in Israel, Gaza and the occupied territories. Now, the UN chief, Antonio Guterres, he sent a letter to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu overnight slamming this decision, saying that it would effectively cripple UNRWA. Now, this ban is expected to start in about three months' time and it comes after this long-running feud between Israel and the UN. And, of course, uh, we do need to remember Israel has been accusing UNRWA of being complicit in the October 7 atrocities, while UNRWA says that it does not have any militant ties. Now, the situation, especially in the northern part of the Gaza Strip, is being labelled catastrophic. Here's what we heard from an UNRWA spokesperson. Well, you have to understand that, uh, that uh, UNRWA is irreplaceable. They are running half of the uh, health centers in Gaza. Only last year, they, uh, uh, they performed over, uh, over 5 million medical consultations. 3,000 of UNRWA staff are health workers. In Gaza, in total, uh, there, there were 20,000 health workers, and according to Ministry of Health, unfortunately, 1,000 health workers have been killed uh, last year. So what UNRWA is doing cannot be done by anyone else. Now, in terms of the situation on the ground in Gaza, strikes have been continuing right throughout the night in both the south and also the centre and in the northern part of the Gaza Strip, with the Palestinian Red Crescent also accusing the Israeli army of setting fire to refugee shelters in that northern area, saying that no food also has gotten into that space in about 25 days. Now, the Israeli army claims that Hamas has regrouped in the northern part of the Gaza Strip, saying that this is why this re-offensive has been launched. Now, elsewhere, there's been a fresh evacuation order issued for the eastern part of Lebanon, that is the Beka Valley. It is a traditional Hezbollah stronghold. Well, Hezbollah has released a statement saying that it unleashed what it is calling a squadron of drones on an army base in Haifa. That is about 93 miles north of where I'm standing as red alert sirens continue to ring out in many parts of Israel. Sarah Coates, Scripps News, Tel Aviv.